now let us dive deep into the types of variation and what are the reactions based on the variations all right now i'll bring in some interesting pictures what do you see on the screen okay yes you see you see a chef poultry business seven rejected eggs color of the eggs birds producing eggs my question is this if you are the chef like this and if you see red eggs here can you say which particular red egg has come from which particular hen okay somebody saying yes i don't know how they'll they say yes you're not seeing it laying out okay? that is called as a bias okay you randomly picked and then that's why i'm word, using the word randomly you randomly selected okay all right because all of them are laying eggs it's very difficult to predict which hen is laying this red egg okay now this is called a common cause so common cause is also called chance cause or natural cause and special cause is called as a sporadic cause or an assignable cause the reason that i'm introducing these words more and more words is because if you read the books if you listen to people when you have to communicate to somebody and when they are asking you questions you must be equipped with all parallel terminologies or equivalent terminologies and special cause is also called assignable cause there are three words that i said sporadic special assignable common cause or natural cause or chance cause these words are used interchangeably okay now if the chef is getting this red egg can he say exactly from which hen it has come can he assign that this egg has come from this hen that's why it's called as assignable cause also right special cause is something different happening at a certain time or place example let us say that how many of you have motorbike now let me try to give examples of a special cause or an assignable cause in the bike okay okay let us say you're going in the bike to the office and when you're late it can be because of special cause or it can be because of a common cause now tell me one special cause when you're going in a bike that if you're going late what is a special cause that might cause you to go late puncture flat tire it doesn't happen all the time okay so the point that i'm trying to drive here is special cause means it doesn't happen frequently it happens rarely and the effect will be high so second point special cost means it will happen rarely and the impact will be high we have identified a special cause which is a flat tire the impact will be high because till you change the tire you cannot reach the factory it might be delayed by half an hour or so okay so high impact rarely happens in a special cause common causes you wake up late 5 minutes 10 minutes you take bath sometimes 10 minutes sometimes 15 minutes okay traffic jam sometimes there is traffic jam because of traffic jam 5 minutes extra you spend 10 minutes extra so you if you find here waking up late 5 to 10 minutes taking bath 5 to 10 minutes extra traffic jam maybe 5 to 10 minutes extra and so on and so forth common cause can be many and each of them will impact to a small extent not one thing will impact if one thing is impact to a huge extent it's a special cause now the important thing is do not 
proceed to problem solving approach analysis until you nail down the special causes because special causes throw your process out of capability instantly everything is going fine suddenly this happened so the first thing in problem solving is don't get into data analysis i warn you you will get paralysis first attack the special causes and standardize it fix it so that the special cause only then you can say the process is stable process i'm not saying capable process it's a stable process that is consistently is coming late he is at least stable every day he comes late by 2 3 minutes at least he is stable so stability is different from capability so that's for special cause and common cause so goal is to minimize variation look at this trend earlier it was varying more right maybe your sugar level was between 100 to 200 then it came to 100 to 150 then it came to 100 to 130 and now it is probably between 110 and 130 all right so if this is the target okay and there will always be some variation in the process even though you have reduced variation you still see there will always be some variation in the process okay but we have to work to minimize the variation around this target 